Hi, my name is Kelly Jackson of Groomer Swagger. I'm a professional mobile groomer in the Los Angeles area. And today we'll be talking about how to brush your dog's teeth with hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. The tools that you'll need, a toothbrush, hydrogen peroxide, cup of water, baking soda, and a bowl to mix everything in. So, this segment is about brushing your dog's teeth with hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. The reason why you would use hydrogen peroxide and baking soda is because the hydrogen peroxide is about killing bacteria and then the baking soda is about freshening the breath. So, this is Coco here and she's gonna be the one helping us demonstrate how to brush your dog's teeth. The item first that you need, a toothbrush. Most people are always gonna use a child's toothbrush because it's a small, it's not as bulky, and it's easier to maneuver inside of a dog's mouth, especially a little guy like Coco here. But if you have a larger dog and you need to cover more ground, feel free to use an adult toothbrush. Some dogs aren't a big fan of putting foreign objects into their mouth, so if your dog is one of those people, feel free to use your finger and just put it in their mouth just like you use a toothbrush. Nice and simple, and as long as you get it on their teeth, you should be just fine. So what you wanna do is take your bowl, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix some hydrogen peroxide, not a lot, I would say maybe a cup full, sorry, a top full into your bowl. Add in some water to dilute, and then add in your baking soda. Coco's a little nosy, so she wants to know what we are getting ready to do. Last of the baking soda and you're gonna stir it up. And you want it to get to a nice, thick consistency as you mix it together. Right, Coco? All right. And once you have it, you're gonna scoop it up onto your toothbrush, like so. Now, how to get your dog to sit still for this. This is kind of tricky, because a lot of dogs aren't always a fan of trying to get their teeth brushed. So the more that you play with your dog's mouth, the easier and more fun experience this is gonna be for them. All you wanna do is make sure you have some treats and practice. Take your finger and go all in the mouth, lift the lips behind, and make sure that she understands that putting her hand or something in her mouth is not a scary thing. The more you do this, the happier you'll be and the easier it'll be on your dog. So, how to get her to open their mouth. Take your hand, put it on the bottom of their chin, thumb on one side, forefinger on the other, and then just take your forefinger on the back of the lip and go all the way back. See, she opens her mouth, or at least will give you a nice pretty smile for you to do what you need to do. Again, if you have a big dog who's not gonna sit as still as Coco here, ask a friend to help and then always have treats so that this process can go smoothly. You really wanna make sure you get all the way in the back of the teeth. That's the most important since that's where all the food gets grinded down. So, lift up all the way in the back, just like so. What a good girl, yes, good girl. And then do the same on the other side. Get some more paste onto your toothbrush and you don't have to worry about hydrogen peroxide being dangerous. You can drink it as a human um, as long and we're doing such little amounts that it will not bother your dog. It would be different if they drank an entire bottle. Do the same on the other side. Lift up and go all the way to the back. Big girl, big girl. I know, good job. As you can see, she's not a big fan of the baking soda paste. But most dogs aren't a fan of baking soda. So if your dog is like Coco here and doesn't really enjoy the taste, go to your local uh, pet supply stores and they have toothpaste for dogs as well as scope and breath fresheners if that's something that you're really looking for to help freshen your dog's breath. The beautiful thing about getting the toothpaste from a pet store is that it's enzymatic, most of them. Meaning as long as you get it on the teeth, then you're good to go. It'll do all the scrubbing and bubbles and making your dog's breath clean for you. Uh, it also comes in all different kind of flavors, chicken, beef, flavors your dog is sure to love. So that's how you brush your dog's teeth with peroxide and baking soda. My name is Kelly Jackson with Groomer Swagger. Thanks for watching.